<laughs> How you doing? Anthony Ferraro here at Craze Sci-Fi. Today I'm outside the dollar store, or as we know it, the Sci-Fi prop store. <laughs> so I'm going to make another Kit Bash uh, spaceship. Very excited about that. Now, um, what I'm going to do is what I always do in these videos, if you've never seen one before, is I have no idea what's in there. I know I want to kit batch a spaceship, so I'm going to go in there. I don't know if it's going to be toys or weird shaped bottles or, or sometimes like hair products or food products that come in packaging. I don't know. Um, so let's get in the store, see what we can find to make a kit batch spaceship for under $5. <laughs> Another great haul from the Sci-Fi Supply Store. So we got a lot of great donor pieces. Uh, turns out all toys today. We got lucky. Makes it easy. So under $5. I'm excited to get started. So let's head straight to the shop and mash this up. <laughs> all right. Back at the shop. We're going to unload our loot. See what we got to work with here. First thing I'm going to do is liberate all this goodness from its packaging. Check it out. See what we're working with. The jets are definitely going to be my uh, sort of main body piece. That's for sure. All these engines are pretty cool. So now I got these smaller jets. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get these out of the packaging. And I actually saved those cardboard uh, backs for paint palettes. Now, what's great about these dollar store toys is they come apart pretty easily. So there's just one or two screws in, in this plane here. I take that apart. And basically what I'm going to do is just deconstruct everything first before we construct our spaceship. So now I'm just pulling off the wheels, separating what needs to be separating and creating a nice pile. And then here's my donor material. We've got a lot to work with here. All right. So the first thing I'm going to figure out is how these two jet bodies go together. I know that this is going to be the core. Um, you know, these things tend to dictate to you what they want to be. Like clearly this was going to be my, my core piece. So now I have these snippers. Uh, these are good for model kits. I also use them for getting rid of like little plastic bits and bobs that I don't want on my pieces. And I'm just fine tuning this and right there is the natural place to glue it. So I take some super glue and mostly with these builds where you're just sort of mashing things together and you're, you're in the flow, you use that super glue kicker. You can get that at hobby shops and it makes it set instantly. And it just really helps your flow, right? When you're kind of, does this work? Does that work? Once it works, you glue it on there instead of have to sit around waiting for it to dry, you hit it with the kicker, you move on. So now, I'm starting to build out the tailpiece and I think this jet will go good here and I have two of these so I think I'm going to mirror them. Now I have this cockpit area and what I learned from the last kit bash is um, I didn't remove enough of what made it an airplane so I want to make this a little more standalone so I'm going to file off uh, where I cut it out just to smooth that out and so now it's more of a wing piece that that nose cone might have given it away a little bit so that looks good so now uh, I'm going to use some super glue and um, in this case I'm starting to realize that I'm going to need maybe a little more bonding and a little more time to sort of shimmy things around. So what I end up doing is using some hot glue. So I end up doing a combination of hot glue and super glue. Hot glue is for the things I need to think about while the glue is setting. And then the super glue is for instant bonds when I just need to move on. So now I'm starting to think about um, how to fill up these gaps and to also build out the ship. Uh, am I going to slide this into the back there? So I try that. That doesn't really work for me, but I feel on the undercarriage that piece will work. So now here's the, the same plane, just a different color. I cut that so that it would fit in this groove that is there from where I remove the cockpit. And I'm always flying it by <laughs> as I'm building it, right? And this really, I mean, I'm not messing around. It's, it's like it's actually giving me an indication of if it's working or not. So now I'm going to come up with the main cockpit. And I, I realize, um, again, from the last build that 
Mirroring these pieces is fine, but they do tend to retain some of the subtextual um, imagery of what they were, right? So these, I, I cut them apart, um, saving some of the details so that when I bond them together, they do look like one piece. And later on, I'm gonna adjust that more, but for now, I'm just going to glue this down. And I'm imagining this being the main uh, deck area, right? The ship is flowing from here. Again, a little kicker so that I can carry on. And yeah, I mean, it's starting to look like something. Now I gotta figure out the wings. But before I do that, I have this back area here. Every once in a while, you know, I say this all the time, round peg, square hole. I just had to use a piece of craft foam to just sort of blend that back area together. So now these wings, you know, it's from the dollar store, so the underside is um, sort of unfinished looking. So what I'm going to do is marry two wings together. So I have four wings, so I'm gonna create a total of two wings. Again, hot glue, um, the kicker, rinse, repeat. So now that I have these wings uh, sort of set up, I need to figure out where they're going to go on the ship. But before I do that, I take a second look at the cockpit and I think, all right, well, I got one set of windows going one way, one going the other way. So what I do is I remove this back set just so that it's not so obviously mirrored. And what I'll do is I just roughly cut that out with my buzzsaw Dremel tool and I'll just file that and sand that down. And then I'm just gonna have to find another piece uh, to set in there. So I end up with one of the smaller jets. I lay that down in there, a little flyby, and I think we're looking good. So now these wings, when I lay them in, I kind of realize I want them to go the opposite way, right? Because it's not a plane. And it kind of gives it this cool sort of X profile. So here I'm just marking out uh, where I need to make the holes to receive the wings. And again, my uh, buzzsaw Dremel tool. Um, a note on that, the reason I always use the buzzsaw tool, especially with plastic, is when you use that cutting wheel that comes with most Dremel tools, it tends to melt the plastic. So for a few bucks, I'll put a link below, you know, you get these buzzsaw attachments and that really uh, is a better way to cut the plastic. And then I'm fitting in these wings and yeah, flyby, starting to look like a spaceship. <laughs> So now the engines, what am I gonna do with all these engines? I think I have about six of these and I tried different ways. Initially, I thought I was just going to um, put them across the back. And uh, while I'm thinking about that, I keep getting distracted, right? So I have these holes up top where I cut off the wheels. So I think, let me just put a little spacer piece here. It's just a, a thing I had laying around in, in my extra parts bin. I think it was like a, a plastic ninja knife. <laughs> And I just put that in there. So now I end up uh, back on the engines and I, and I come up with this cluster. And the cluster is actually kind of fun. And again, usually, you know, when I sort of let these things dictate what they need to be, it usually is better than what my preconceived ideas were. All right, so now um, taking a look at the progress, it looks good. So I think I'm ready to start sanding. And usually what I do is a, is a fine grit sandpaper, uh, scotch bright to make sure I get all the spaces, and then a fine grit um, steel wool as kind of like my safety net. So I sanded down there. Now I'm taking my scotch bright. You just want to knock down all that plastic. You don't want that shiny plastic because the paint's just going to scrape right off of that. Now I hit it with the steel wool and I'm gonna give this a base of flat black primer. So there's my primer, and the last ship I did uh, was silver, so I'm gonna go with gold on this one. Um, so I'm just gonna do a dry brush. You know, you see me do this a lot on this channel. And this is actually a little more than a dry brush. This is, um, I'm going to give it a light dusting so that we get sort of the contrast of the black and it, it'll make the, the piece, um, the formed pieces pop where we have those molded in wing, you know, details and things like that. They start to pop when you do this um, dry paint onto the whole thing. And there, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna seal this all in with some clear coat. And let's take a look at the beauty shots. Yeah, really happy with that profile. 
The engines, that cluster, I think is a nice addition. This is all going to be going by probably at a distance. This is not really gonna be your hero ship, I don't think. And then that's what it's gonna look like flying away. We'll add flames to that when I do it in the computer. And yeah, really happy with that. <laughs> that came out really good, right? I keep doing that. Wow. And for sure, I'm gonna do uh, a second video um, where we bring this to life. Last time I did it on the green screen. This time, you know, the, the mask tracking in Premiere, in Adobe, in After Effects is pretty good. I wanna see if I can do it on black. So we'll do that in the next episode. But um, yeah, this is definitely better than the last one I made. Still lots and lots of room for improvement. You know, on this channel, um, for creating sci-fi, filmmaking, props, costumes. Most of the time I like to share with you things that I've done a lot, I've gotten pretty good at, and I wanna share my knowledge. Some cases, like the case of kit bashing, practical spaceships, we're learning this together, right? I'm figuring this out as I go along. This channel, you guys motivate me to try it out um, and to get better at it. And then we sort of learn together. Oh, I like that profile. <laughs> so I hope that you know you found that useful please like share subscribe be sure to hit that subscribe button check out the merch shop I don't know if you noticed but we have hats now <laughs> I'm very excited about that so Check out the merch shop. We got hats, shirts, posters, a lot of stuff. That really helps the channel. All right. Well, remember, I'm just here to help make sci-fi. <laughs>